What's up, yo? It's H Y Well, and we're on the track, and this our moment of spotlight. And down you know we let go with the stuff. Copping designer, and we smoking designer. I think it's some dirty or something. Before I show you, you got show me enough. Boy, you don't blow it, just showing a gun. He showing a gun, he an answer gangster. I come through like a bank, I got plenty paper. Bitch, your bitch, and she DM my fence later. Tell her dick when she playing investigator. Try and see where I be at, and know where I sleep at. Welcome to the moment of spotlight. I want to thank y'all for coming back. I'm joining today with Will, and why are y'all doing today? Good man. Chilling. Chilling. Yeah, Alright. Well, to get things started, uh, how did y'all meet? Shit, Polly. <laughs> yeah, Lily, Polly. Lily, uh, I knew I knew this girl that he knew, and then I, I fucked with his music for real. Came to Polly. I seen him walking. I'm like, I'm trying to say what's up. So I went up to him. I said, what's up? He said, he said, what's up? And I said, uh, I know you well. Da, 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 da. And I told him my name. I said, Warren. Kept it bopping. And then after yeah. that, niggas been cool ever since though. Literally. Y'all just locked them up for just a, a small interaction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that really like, that's really my brother though, like. That's really my guy, bro. Like, round, what are you mm -hmm. round up, bro? So when did y'all like take y'all like friendship to like the business side of things, but being a producer and an artist? Mm -hmm. I think I wanna say like, at first, to be honest, like we was like, it just wasn't working at first, but then like we had this school project and we were supposed to make a song. I'm like, I need a I need a fucking beat. <laughs> worm. Mm. Yeah, worm came through. I started, I started like, making beats around there, so I was trying to like get my shit out there. So I was just like, well, fuck with me. And that's how it happened. Like the beat, of course it wasn't all that. Like we was <laughs> first thought, we was thinking we, we was so nice back then, yo. But, I, thought, I thought we did something with that, but I ain't but, gonna that's yeah. how it happened. Would anybody fuck with it? Uh, <laughs> you know how niggas is gassing us and shit. Yeah, they yeah. <laughs> get the gas was like that shit was hard. Yeah, whole time that shit was. It was it was cool, but like when you starting out, yo, like everything a process for real. So for real, it was it was a start. That's what I said. When we first started actually dropping songs, bro. Oh yeah, that's when niggas started really fucking with us a little bit. Yeah, more. when y'all started dropping. 2019? Something like that. 2019. 2019 summer, I dropped a tape called Young Line. That shit is not out no more. They're not going looking <laughs> for it. You're not going to find it. But, yeah, that was the start, yo. So at what point like, did y'all like, discover that y'all had a talent for music? I mean, you could take that, bro. I mean, um, I always knew I had something. Like, I always knew. I used to want to rap for real. At first I wanted to rap for real. I used to look at freestyle at school and shit like that, just in front of niggas, just chilling for real. But then I just realized, I don't know, I, I, I just thought I didn't have it type shit. So I was just like, shout out my nigga Mon, a Mon, bro. I seen him, he was doing his thing with the music, with the beats and shit. So I was like, I, 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 hey, if I can't rap on a, if I can't rap on the beats, at least make the beats. So you feel me? Mm -hmm. Seeing him, <clears throat> this is like 11th grade. I was like, fuck it. We just learn how to make beats. At first, he thought I was blessing for real. At first, at first it was like it was like class. He told me film me in the classroom. I said, I never, I never went to him. I never got up and walked to him like, bro, mm -hmm. let me, let me learn how to do this. He just was waiting for me to come over there. And, I, and at the class, he was like, bro, come to me when you're serious. I said, Damn. I took that first. I ain't gonna lie. I took that. I, I was like, bro. I was like, bro. I'm gonna Understood. do this shit without you. I'm not gonna lie. But eventually, I eventually he really showed me a lot of shit. I ain't gonna lie. But I was just grinding, trying to get to it, cause I was like, bro, I'm not ready to let no nigga think I'm bluffing or you feel me. I don't really want to do this shit, cause this shit's serious. Like, I love music type shit. So mm -hmm. that shit was like a test, basically. Every right. time you like come back when you serious, serious, you was like, alright, mm -hmm. back. You took that personal. Mm -hmm. Serious now. Me, uh, I knew like I had some sort of. Words like I, I knew I was good with words because like even in eighth grade I was writing like poetry I was doing shit like that like even in class when they had poetry I was like man my shit hard I was like I know I could really do this if I wanted to and then uh we used to have like you know my homeboys or that we used to have little rap battles and I just had the hardest shit like 
spitting that crazy shit at a young age, like 13. So then, like one day my homeboy was like, this is, this is a couple years later, like three years later. I'm 15, no, two years later. I'm 15. It's the first time I ever went to a studio. They like, yeah, we're gonna hit the studio. We're gonna do that. And honestly, I mean, that's when I made Colossal. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people fuck with that song. That's the first song I ever made in a real studio. No cat, no nothing. That shit got about like 60,000 views on SoundCloud. Like the, Oh, that's different. Yeah, in like, in like a couple months. So, so your first song blew up? Mm-hmm. I know a lot of, uh, like only a couple people that's would know that. That's a great start. Only a couple people would know that, like, I had to rebrand after that too, cause I had took some time off. Like, I ain't ca can't take no breaks no more, yeah. But yeah, that's how I got started for real. So back then, when the song first blew up, like, where was your head? That's your first song, bro. Like, you like, well, this shit easy. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't, I I was like, man, this shit. I I didn't even really realize how much it blew until people started sending me hella videos or like them listening to the song, them like turn up mm. to the song. I'm like, oh yeah. Then we started. Then we started doing parties and shit, like going to parties, performing and shit. I was like, yeah, like, this gonna be, this this probably gonna be bigger than what I thought it was. Cause at first, at the time, I'm like, I was with my homeboys making a song, you know what I'm saying? I know I could rap, but I ain't trying to like, be no rap, but I was still having fun and stuff. So I say like, I started taking rap and serious at like, a little bit after that. Cause like once you have a song that blow, it's like, some people had a mentality of like, yeah, I'm gonna just keep going with this shit. I had the mentality of like, man, this shit was just for fun, like, fuck. Mm. You know, a lot of people don't understand that, like, but the Colossal shit, it was like, that's my baby, but like, I was so like, it low key was like one of them songs that was like, a win and a lose for me. Cause I'm thinking like, this shit blew, but I'm thinking like, Man, why my other shit not blowing? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. And then I had to be like, it's because I'm not locked in. Like, I just took that shit as a, as a yeah, you know I mean. So I started locking in, and now like I feel like I'm I'm to the point where I'm at my best for real. Of course, I got some improving to do, but like now, like you give me a verse, ain't that I'm a, I'm a burn that bitch. So what y'all both like really like? Cause y'all really getting hot right now. I ain't gonna take rage out tonight. Oh, yeah. So what y'all the one two coming oh, tonight? Worm got hella beats on there. Going crazy. Going crazy. Y'all stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. But I was saying, like, but y'all both, like, getting hot right now. Like, everybody fuck with y'all. Like, how would that feel? Shit, it feel good. It feel good. Like, I ain't gonna lie, it feel good. Like, knowing people starting to, you know, catch on to what we got going on. Oh, yeah. It's really crazy when, like, it really it really hit me when, like, niggas I already listened to was like, but Worm on the track? Oh shit, yeah, I know you. I was like, oh my god, that <laughs> was crazy. I was just, yeah. I was like, bro, I gotta keep going with this shit. Like, mm. no bullshit. Right. I seen the inc inclination, like, once we dropped for the week two, for real, with all them songs on there, the EP. I saw a little inclination. I'm like, okay, like, you know, it's getting better for real. Then we dropped Under the Sun for uh, OTR Chaz, shout out Chaz. And my, and my man's wife made the beat. But uh, yeah, like, once we dropped that, I was like, okay, like, people gonna, people gonna respect what we got going on, for real. For real. They see y'all putting that work in. Yeah. They see y'all <laughs> Yeah, that's how I build it, bro. When niggas see, mm -hmm. like, you really trying, and like, you, like, your first song blew up, bro. So they like, yeah. you still working at this shit. How long, how long was that? Uh, I dropped that shit 2018. They see you still working at this mm -hmm. from 2018 to now, and they see the mm -hmm. progression. They ain't gonna fight with you. Yeah. Everything be taking a long time, not a long time, but time to build up. Oh, uh, yeah. Time. That's how a lot of shit be, though. Like, that niggas think, like, even with the little baby shit, like, niggas compare little baby for real and be like, he blew up overnight, but, like, mm. little baby already had connections for real. Like, you gotta build them connections, too, type shit. Yeah, baby did have connections and all that mm -hmm. before he blew up. So when y'all both in the studio together, like, what's that like for, like, the energy, the vibes? Crazy, yo. I ain't gonna lie, whenever we get in this studio, like, you, I ain't gonna lie, the last couple of times, Worm already been in there, like, he be in, the, in there making beats, and then, we're like, I'd probably pull up a little bit later, and then he already got some crazy shit. So mm -hmm. it's like, 
It's just the energy be through the roof for real. It be cool. It be fun, bro. It just be easy mm -hmm. chilling. He go crazy. I go crazy on the beats. It's just like we going back and forth. Just niggas always tell us like me and him just like some dynamic duo type shit. Like, Y'all just click with it. Yeah. Yeah. We call ourselves uh, Shaq and Kobe. Yeah. That's how. I hear that. And, I, and I, I'm gonna tell the camera. It don't matter who Shaq. It don't matter who Kobe. <laughs> mm. Both them niggas like that. Both them niggas. Like <laughs> Real shit. So like, has that ever been a time like y'all in, in the studio like things not going well like y'all can't get right? Nah, nah. It's always comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> and if it, if it's like slow, it might be slow sometimes, but it'll never be. It's never been a time where we was like, nah, like this ain't working. So y'all always here. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Y'all just did a project with um Uchi or Chaz working with Chaz. Like, how was that? Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was smooth, bro. Like. Niggas uh, made the song for real. He, he made the hook. He sent it back in a day. And we got that shit done. Like, yeah, it was instantly. bad. Like, he got that shit done. Like, Chad's nice. Well, he got it done quickly. Yeah. Nah, that's different. Mm -hmm. He hit me. He hit me like in the morning or some shit. Like, bro, I need something for Chad. Like, right now. I mm -hmm. said, all right. I straight sent it over. Yeah, that's that's cool. That beat is wild though. He uh he fucked that beat up for real. You uh Ryan, you just don't work with Jiggy, Izzy, Chaz. Like who was like your favorite person that you collaborated with for all to get him a beat? I mean, honestly, probably Chaz. Cause he like my favorite artist, like Baltimore artist. Like he just crazy, like that was crazy. I listen to this nigga every day, like in the car, smoking whatever. We just listen to this nigga Roddy all of them. And I'm like, bro, I really, I really said it, bro. I said one day, bro, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a song with with Chaz. A couple months later, shit happened. He put that shit into existence. Manifesting is for real. It's real, bro. For real. You just say that shit, put the work in, bro. That's gonna happen. Ah, uh, that's just surreal. Shout out to OTR Taz, by the way, man. Mm -hmm. it's a good name. So like, where would you be like a rapper that's like really like paving his way? It's a lot of competition in Baltimore. Like, do you like look at that? Or you just like focus on yourself and what you can do. Um, I mean, I just really focus on myself for real. But like, I don't even look at it as a competition no more. Cause like, at the end of the day, I feel like you gonna need some of these guys to get out there. You feel me? Like, and not even on no using shit. More so like, just helping each other out type shit. Like, somebody somebody might got more motion than you on like followers or something like that. But she might have like a different type of flow for real. Y'all come and collab, that makes something that makes something good right there. Like everything just got everything for me just makes sense. Like God I don't got sense. I don't really worry about like no competition cause we all try and make it. Like at the end of the day, you just gotta put your best foot forward no matter what. No matter who in the room, no matter who who doing what, you just gotta do you for real. So what uh changed the mind about that? About what? No, you said like at first you look, you look at the competition, but now you don't. Like what kind of like oh, change yeah. your mind? Um, I really feel like that that like mentality changed once I started seeing like more Baltimore artists collaborating anyway. Like when I first started, it wasn't really too many artists that was collaborating together. Like when I first started, I think like everybody was like. It was like one artist here, one artist there. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah, that type facts. Shit. It wasn't as amazing we got now. Like, yeah, like now yeah. everybody collaborating. Mm -hmm. Like um, that song, Endless Drive, I really fucked with that because it's like they had everybody on that bitch just ripping and they all had to be in the studio at the same time. So I know that that, that was good for the city. For real. For the Win 2 is out. What was your motivation behind that album? I say For the Win is about like growth for real because the first one dropped almost a year ago and uh, we just wanted to show people that like we grew and we progressed from the last one and like we want to show like everybody that this is like being taken serious and it's not nothing to play with for real. Any features on the album? Um, yeah, we got OTL Chaz, Sister. Sister Kid and Sean Justin. So with you, like, how do you pick who you want to do a feature with? Mm. Honestly, everything like about the features be strategic for real. So <clears throat> I feel like it just had to make sense as far as either it's gonna 
it's going to sound crazy or maybe it might promote m more stuff for real, but. So you'd be like, just test the water. Like, yeah. you'll see somebody like, I like his drum, yeah, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, exactly. So for you, when he comes to you, be like, we got a feature with such and such, like, do you kind of like surround your beats like the fit? Yeah, most of, the, most of the time, I try to fit it around like what his sound usually is, but then I probably change it into my own shit. Like, I had like the same things you probably, I probably had the same instruments that you use, like pianos and all that shit. Mm -hmm. But then I do my own type of drums. Like I wouldn't do the same thing that you would usually do. I would do my own type of sauce to it. So it's really mine. And it's different, not really like some other niggas shit. So you put your own spin on it for real? Yeah. Okay. Both y'all, y'all just recently took a trip to um, Orlando. How was that? Man, Orlando, it's always fun. It's always lit, cuz. Like we got, uh, we already got a studio down there I'll be going to for real, so. We hot in there, and that's how we made uh, a song that's out now called uh, Now or Later, for real. Y'all made y'all down Atlanta? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I ain't lie, I can't, they came back to Baltimore, got a lot of buzz off of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now or Later. Yeah, that shit really blowing up. That's crazy. So, like, this is a, a different topic. So, for, like, as a producer and an artist, would y'all do a song with 6 9 <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> I'm not doing shit with him, bro. Why? Bro, I just don't believe, like, that nigga's a clown. Like, you feel me? Like, I feel like when niggas on clown shit, like, you got, like, I might respect, like, I could respect him as, I guess you could say, like, as an artist, but since I don't respect you as a person, I can't lock in with you. I'm not that on that. Shit's cool. <laughs> that yeah, shit is cool. Yeah, no. Like, I, I can't respect nothing he stand for. Like, I would never, I know I would. What would you do? No. Yeah, it's not much. To it, I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna say that too. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. It's like I love money and all that. That's gonna get y'all some clout though. That's gonna get y'all like some some police, some well, clout. Yeah, but, but that's not the way we're talking. I don't want clout. Yeah, that's different right like there. Yeah. <laughs> that was a funny. That was like a, a funny, interesting question. <laughs> yeah, that was different. I had to throw a little curve, bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, for real. Curve, so like, where do y'all see yourselves in the coming years? Shit tour somewhere going crazy like somewhere out of out of baltimore not not shitting on baltimore not just saying like <clears throat> i just want to see new places like, i feel like we're going to see a lot of new places a lot of new people we're going to meet a lot of new people we're going we're going to show the world what it is for y'all gonna be out of there yeah that's all man elevating that's all i'm trying to do keep going keep going create some new shit niggas never heard yeah y'all yeah, put on for the city for real yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay the way. We almost up out of here. Let me, can we get like a freestyle or something with worm? Yes, Stop sir. Stop people here. Mm-hmm. Let's get it. Change for the whole of the paper. How would you feel? You find your man and your brother a hater. And I got gas on me. I'm high as a skyscraper. I gotta run up a bag. I gotta go get it. It's now or later. I gotta go get it. I ain't seen my brother in a minute. I remember I was sitting in detention. On my seat, they say I won't listen. What I'm doing is for. I got my family. I'm taking them up. Come from a place they were saying this for. Don't got no scars. They ain't living enough. So I got his neck. We gon' tie up his body and then he get thrown in the trunk. Pound on the table. Yeah, we breaking it down and you know we let go of the stuff. Cop and designer, and we smoking designer. I think it's some Dodie or something. Before it show you, gotta show me enough. Boy, you don't blow it, just showing a gun. He showing a gun, he an answer gangster. I come through like a bank, I got plenty paper. Bitch, a bitch, and she DM my fence later. Tell a dick, but she playing investigator. Try and see where I be at, and know where I sleep at. You not my bitch, why the fuck would you need that? She got some hoodies, I told her to keep that. Bitch, just get money and go on repeat that. Me and Warren used to hang in the band, though. Take a flight, now we back in Orlando. I be singing, but this is my rap flow. I've been playing. I know that you can't go. I get that set like a defensive tackle. She throw it back, then I say, Holy mackerel. Skinny fatigue, but her shit really fat. Yeah, put that for for the time you were sad, though. We were just going outside. Now we got up and we got us a bag. Go to the mall, go blow all the racks. Cause it's coming back, give a fuck if it lasts. I'm hitting the gas. Bitch got some water, I'm about to go splash. You don't got a force, like come show me that ass. Cause you know I'm on it, I give you the cash. 
Whoa. Uh, I cannot change for the whole of the paper. How would you feel? You find your man and your brother a hater. And I got gas on me, I'm high as a skyscraper. I gotta run up a bag, I gotta go get it, it's now or later. I gotta go get it, I ain't seen my brother in a minute. I remember I was sitting detention. On my seat, they said I won't listen. What I'm doing is for, I got my family, I'm taking them up. Come from a place they were saying this for. Don't got no scars, they ain't living enough. Talk out his neck. We gon' tie up his body and then he get thrown in the trunk Pound on the table, yeah we breaking it down and you know we let go of the stuff Coppin' designer, and we smokin' designer, I think it's some Doty or something Before the show you gotta show me enough, boy you don't blow it, just showin' a gun Come on now but y'all want me any last shout, shout outs in the final words? Man, shout out for having us, yo. That's all I'm saying. Shout out for having us. Man. Locked, man. Man. Shout out everybody Sh else. Shout out Beezy, man. Shout out Amon. Shout, shout out Beezy, man. Y'all know who y'all is. Man, yeah, shout, shout out all y'all, man. Shout out the whole gang. Mm -hmm. Moment Spotlight. Uh, I want y'all to stay tuned, Moment Spotlight. And stay prepared for your Moment Spotlight. Y'all. Okay. Y'all.